Aunt Amelia is walking on the number line. Will the ant make it up past one on the number line? Let's find out with this interesting problem from the AMC 10 and 12B. Aunt Amelia starts on the number line at zero and crawls in the following manner. For n equal to one, two, or three, Amelia chooses a time duration, t of n, and an increment, x of n, independently and uniformly at random from the interval zero to one. During the nth step of the process, Amelia moves xn units in the positive direction, using up t of n minutes. If the total elapsed time has exceeded one minute during the nth step, she stops at the end. Okay, let's just break down what this is because it's a mouthful of a problem so far. Basically, t of n is this time we're taking. We're choosing a random from 0 to 1. And this increment is how much Amelia the ant is moving forward. So this is x of n, how much the ant moves forward, and t of n, how much time that will take. Okay, so as you can see here, using up t of n minutes. So if the total elapsed time has exceeded a minute, so if it's already more than a minute, Amelia will stop. Otherwise, she continues with the next step, taking at most three steps in total. Okay, in rest to find the probability Amelia will stop greater than one. Let's break this down. Okay, so what if Amelia only takes one step? What's the probability Amelia will take only one step? Well, for Amelia to take only one step, the total elapsed time must have exceeded a minute. But this is the open interval from 0 to 1. The elapsed time we're taking is less than 1 always. So it can never exceed a minute. So one step is never even possible. So we don't even have to worry about it. Okay, what about two steps? Two steps. So each step is going to take somewhere between zero and one minutes, right? So for us to stop after two steps, we must exceed a minute. So how do we do this? How do we find it out? This is geometric probability. Zero, one, zero, one. This is the amount of time for the first step. Time for first. Time for second step. And we're trying to find when it will exceed one minute, the total time. So what's the probability that after two steps, it will exceed one minute? So notice here is that our possibilities lie within this one by one square, or it's super square as you can see here. My drawings are very good. So in this square from zero to one, how can we represent geometrically the case where the time from both steps is more than one? It's just going to be above this line right here. So what's the area of this triangle? Half times one times one equals half. And the area of the square is just one. So half of the time, the time taken will be more, the half the time the time taken will be more than one minute. Right? Because half of the time, half of the area is greater than this line, x plus y equals one, where x is the time for the first step and y is the time for the second step. Okay, so the probability we take two steps and we go over, so we take two steps and stop is half. So that means there's a half probability we need three or more steps. Hmm, but it says here, taking at most three steps in all. Oh, okay. So at most three steps in all. So that means that the other half chance is we just take three steps. And there's really nothing else. Okay, so now what's the probability that Amelia's position will be more than one after two steps? After two steps, probability more than one. Well, each increment is randomly from zero to one, or maybe I shouldn't have erased that. It's the exact same geometric drawing as you can see here, because there's two increments now, increment one, 
and increment two from each of the two steps, right? And just like earlier, the total increments will be more than one if it lies in this triangular region over here. So half of the total area as we found. So in this half earlier, just to be clear, earlier we found half chance the time will be more than one. Now half chance the position will be more than one. So this is the probability we did take two steps. And this is the probability that if we did take two steps, then that this is the probability will be greater than one. And remember, they're chosen independently, so they're not related to each other or anything like that. Okay, now we can erase it, because now for what happens if we take three steps? What is the probability that we will be over one after three steps? Now this is also geometric probability, but this time we'll have to do 3D. So we've got 3D, 3D drawings, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and this is 3D just to be clear. So essentially, we want the total sum of x plus y plus z to be more than 1. So the equation x plus y plus z plus 1 equals 1, where each of these are the increment for each step. And this has to be more than 1. So it just has to be above this plane. It's not a line, it's a plane. So we can see that 1, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 1, basically all of these three points, they are all lying on the plane, on this plane. So if we connect them, remember, three points define a plane. So this will form a plane. So that essentially means that well, anything above this, this, this red line that I drew, will, anything above that red line that I just drew, will be a case that has an increment of more than one after three steps. So now, instead of finding areas, we're finding volume. So what is the volume of the region above, let's just draw this to be clear, just to make it more obvious. What is the region of the volume above this plane? Well, to do that, we can find the volume of this pyramid, pyramidal shape over here. The volume of a pyramid is half, one third times base area times height. The base area over here is half, right? The height is just going to be, and by base area, I'm talking about this region over here at the bottom. It's just half times one times one. The height is just going to be one. So the base area at the bottom is half, the height is one, and we multiply by one third for the volume of a pyramid. That gives a six. So the volume of this region under the red region is a six. So that means the volume of the region above, because the volume of the entire cube is just one, right? One times one times one, the volume of the part above that red plane is five six. And 5, 6 divided by 1 is 5, 6. So there's a 5, 6 chance that the increment will be more than 1 after 3 steps, right? It's just the volume of this not pyramid region divided by the total volume of the cube. And now we just add this up. 1 fourth, 10 twelfths, 1 fourth, or 1 fourth, 5 twelfths, 1 fourth is 3 twelfths. We add these up, we get 8 twelfths, which is 2 thirds. See.